Welcome to the orientation videos that are associated with Unit 1 from Working with Health IT Systems. We were talking about the Reports tab, and this is going to have bearing on your assignment. What I would like to do is to come back to this Reports tab, and you remember, just a moment ago, in the video number 4, we looked at some of the clinical reports. There is another type of reporting. Let's close these up so they take up less space on the desktop. There are all these different types of reports here. We're going to focus on clinical reports and health summary. Clinical reports we've already looked at. Let's click into health summary and let's click an ad hoc report. When you do an ad hoc report, this allows you or your user to be able to create an on-the-fly query that you would like to run. You also have the possibility of saving it. That's something we'll talk about in another unit. Users could set up their own specific query, something they'd like to see every day when they come in, or as they're taking on a new patient. And again, we'll discuss that a little bit later. So let's look at some of these ad hoc summaries and what I would like to put together. Let's see. I'm just curious what the lab orders are for today. So, you click here, you transfer it over into the query box, and then sometimes you can customize a little bit here if you'd like. A current limit. Perhaps you want 10, or within the last year, the last two years, three years, whatever. It gives people the ability to really look at some of the different data points that are available in the record for their patient. Let's look at his active problem list as well. I'm hoping we'll pull up something here. I've transferred it over to the selection box and I'm going to say OK. Ah, here we go. And so what you can see is that I have just run an ad hoc query on patient 8. And I asked for these particular values. I wanted to know what are his active problems and what are his lab orders within the last year. Now that's probably not a very clinically sensible or relevant query. I'm just trying to demonstrate to you how you run an ad hoc query to look for data. I'll give you a quick orientation to the lab exercise that you will be completing for this unit. You are responsible for doing a scavenger hunt. And if you look in your course packet, you should have a list of things that you need to find. They will not be from patient 8. But let me just give you a quick walkthrough of some of the ways that you can find some data in here. This is something that you need to explore. Let's just say in this scavenger hunt, I have been asked to find out what is the reaction that Mr. 8 has when he eats chocolate. We know he's allergic to it. There are many ways you can get to it. One of the most simple ways is to click here and a box will open up. What happens is that he gets diarrhea when he eats chocolate. What you can do for your assignment is to do a print screen to save this for your instructor. But again, I would check with your instructor to see how they want you to actually save the results of your work. You can highlight it, do a control C, which means a copy, and then you could open up, let's say, Microsoft Word or whatever your instructor asks you to do. And if you open up Microsoft Word, remember I did a control C to copy, and I do a control V to paste. So, then I can minimize this. Eventually what I would do, I would just keep appending to this document and then hand it in as a homework assignment. It really is up to your instructor though, so make sure that you check with him or her first. The next question in my scavenger hunt is over the last two years, what was the highest temperature that Mr. 8 ever ran? 